Hello Youtubers, I'm Parways and in this video, in this Android Studio video, I'm going to uh, show you uh, that uh, how you can work with multiple activities and how you can open second activity from your first activity. Uh, so, uh, in the previous video, uh, I have uh, talked about about, uh, about uh, activities. So, I have said that uh, uh, activity is like screen. So, for example, if you see Facebook login page, now the Facebook login page is a screen, uh, as screen or an activity. So, now, uh, first let me create a new project in Android Studio. Uh, so, new, uh, new project. And uh, you need to give uh, application name. So, let me give it a uh, second uh, activity. And uh, you can see company domain, uh, you can choose uh, as you wish, project location, and uh, I'm going to click on next. And now this is uh, the API level uh, you uh, want to target. Uh, I have talked about this in the previous videos. I'm going to uh, uh, choose API level 21st. So after this, uh, you can see uh, I have a choosing phone and tablet. Now I'm going to click on next. And now from here, I need an empty activity. Click on next. And uh, you, this is your activity name. And this is uh, the layout of, for our activity, the XML layout. And after that, let me click on finish. So this is the layout activity name. So uh, remember that every activity, when you are going to create an activity, uh, there should be a layout for that activity. So a Java class and also a layout. So this is our Java class and this is our layout now I'm going to click on finish <coughs> now my project is uh, going to be created so guys this is our project and uh, we have just a uh, text view in here that's hello world and if I open uh, you can see that I have said uh, when you create an activity we have an activity main.xml and also we have a main activity.java uh, that it inflates our main activity.xml. So now, uh, for right now, I have just one activity. Let me just uh, add a button in here. So let me uh, remove this. Okay, now I'm going to add a simple button in this section. And because we're using constraint layout, you need to make constraint uh your layout so from okay now this is our button uh let me open the text in here uh you can see that we have id our id is button i don't want to change but if you want you can change and the text for the text i'm going to change this that open uh second activity so when when a user click uh, clicks on uh, this button I want to open another activity or another screen we can call it okay so now we are going to create another activity uh, creation of activity you can simply write in uh, right click in here and click on new and from this section you can see activity and from here we need an empty activity and also you need to give uh, a name so it's second activity let me so you can see we this is the Java class name and this is our XML file name click on finish so guys now you can see this is our second activity we have a second activity dot Java class and also for our activity we have a XML file so this is the design layout now in the second activity I'm going to just a uh, simple uh, text view in here uh, like this and uh, let me uh, make it okay so first let me uh, make it constraint like this so let me open the text and uh, from here uh, Let me, okay, so this is our preview. Okay, so now uh, I need to change the, uh, the, the text of our text view to uh, welcome to second activity, like this. 
and also I need to bring uh, uh, some change to the font of the text so you can use Android uh, text size text uh, okay we have text size in here okay let me just uh, okay so Android uh, text size so I want to give it a uh, 25 SP and Android text color so for the text color I'm going to give it Android color uh, whatever you want uh, I want read light and Android text style I want a bold style for my this text so you can see welcome second activity uh, now this is the design okay so now uh, I want when a user click on this open second activity button I want to open this screen so the second activity uh, now for this you need to open your main activity.java so the activity.java that is related to your activity main.xml like this and here the first thing you need you need to create a button object so button and let me call it a button or whatever you want for example btn you can call it and let me just import this button okay so you can import uh, by alt enter you can import the classes now after this we need to find the ID of this button because if you see in here uh, the, we have uh, we have the ID of button you can change this but I have uh, uh, give it button so we need to find this ID uh, for this uh, you can write btn find view by id and r uh, dot id dot button like this you didn't need to type cause this uh, because in the uh, in the latest version of Android Studio you don't need to type cause to your widgets okay so now uh, we have uh, we have find uh, the uh, ID of our button that's button now we need to set on click listener so for our button there are two ways that you can set on click listener the first way is that you can uh, simply write btn uh, dot and set on click listener so you can use this set on click listener uh, the second way is that uh, uh, you need to in your XML file in here uh, you need to uh, give a uh, for example so let me show you the uh, bot way mm, okay so this is the first way let me show you btn dot set on click listener new on click listener okay now this is the place that we are going to write when a user click on the button so whatever you want I want when a user click on my button I want to open second activity so you can use intent for opening your second activity intent intent and let me import this intent new intent and in here you need to uh, first uh, you need to write the context so you can use git git base context and uh, the another is your the java class of your second activity so you can see it is second activity dot java so you can give uh, second activity dot class like this and after that you need to start your activity so start activity intent so this is our code uh, and now I'm going to run this in my virtual emulator so click on run and now this is my virtual emulator and click on OK so now I'm waiting for my so guys this is our application in the virtual emulator if I click on open second activity so now you can see this is our second activity so like this uh, you can create so let me click again open second activity and you can see this is our welcome to second activity now uh, so this was uh, I have said that uh, you can set on click listener in two ways so this was the first way uh, the second way is that in your uh, where you have your button so I have in my activity main.xml and here you need to define an on click so you can simply write on write uh, on click and then here for example I want uh, 
let me call it click me click me okay click me now you need to define uh, this method this that you have created created in here in your Java file in your main activity Java file so in here uh, let me uh, public void and and you need to pause the view parameter in here uh, this is an accessory parameter like this and now you can simply just write your this intent in here like this and now you don't need to this uh, let me remove this uh, you don't need to find the ID you don't need the object of the button uh, when you are going to create the, uh, like this okay so now let me run this and uh, we will see the result so let me click on OK now I'm waiting for my virtual emulator so guys uh, now if I click on open second activity you can see welcome to second activity the re uh, result is the same so this was that you can set two kinds of on-click listener for uh, your uh, buttons in Android Studio. So thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel and, I'll, and like the video.